How you doing guys? This is Hybrid Steel. Welcome to a Pimp My Plot episode. Hey, we're finally back on Pimp My Plot and it's all good in the hood. Basically what this series does is I take somebody's plot. This comes from a guy called Stevo. Thank you very much for giving me this. And apparently he has a couple of little bits of problems. As you can see, he's using one massive line. He's got two sorting plants for some obscure reason. And uh, he's got... Oh, I'm going to be honest. This is annoying me just a little bit. Now, obviously, he is trying to wire this up so he's got five filters being fixed. But I'm not sure why he's got these three filters here. And then he's got all these filters here. And he's got all those filters here. And then he's, and then he's trying to repair this as well. Oh, where does all this go? Oh, right, okay. Um... Right, okay, so he's take. yep, this is a good start, right? Okay, good start, he has money, that's that's a good start, fantastic. Not sure why and where, why doesn't he have a... Oh my god, okay, so the... Right, okay, so he's manually taking gems from here and putting them in his gem compressor. We need to fix this. And I'm going to be honest, it looks like because he's running two different plots, we could actually try and make this into one big one. Because, you know, what's the point of running two if you can just run them all into one? So we, what we will, what we could do is we'll extend, his, um, we'll extend his line up to about here. We'll extend that line all the way to here with just a one sorting plant, and that should be okay. This, I'm not sure why he has this right here, considering that his pipes are all the way running down here. Okay, T1. Fantastic. Not sure why you doubled up. Why is it? Oh, okay. Brain explosion right here. So, this pipeline, I get it, right? You know, you're, you're looking at basically mowing your pipeline down here. It's all good. Not sure why you're filtering your line here as well. You could just filter this bit and just have like, oh, yeah. Uh, this is the problem with mildew, really is. I think what we need to do then is this needs to, like, we need to expand this out and bring, so his intake is down here so it can be filtered water here. Then we can go over here. These filters don't need to be here. Those filters don't need to be there. Not sure why you doubled up your conveyor. But this is this is a big lag thing, right? If you keep building this and this and this and this, you're going to have lots and lots of lag coming from this. Your best thing you could have done is just literally just built the drill to here. Well, built the conveyor belt to this corner without doing all of this. Rightio. Well, we've got a little bit of sorting out to do, haven't we? Okay, so we're... Ex oh, hello. I'm going to assume this is the other section. Wow. Okay, cool. Oh, right. Hey, this is better. Right. Okay, okay. I get, I get it. I get it. It's all good. Downside is that when you come to put your things up here, it's going to be like, oh, I can't get up here. Blah, blah, blah. Right, okay, and he's obviously he's prepping to do this more and more and more, so that's fine. Your best thing to do with these, if I'm going to be honest, is to have a little platform that you can actually just change the crystals over better. What the... S okay, so he's digging into tier three. Interesting. I'm stuck. Okay, right, I think I've got, I think I've got the gist of what he is trying to do here. So, I need to make it so that tier 1 and tier 2 can fire into the same plant, which would really help for sorting. These, uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm probably going to simplify this as well, so we can just have the simple thing. The downside is his intake is right down here. So, what I need to do is I need to expand this out, so his intake is filtered straight away, so it's all good. And then he wouldn't need all these extra filters on the line and so on and so forth, and that's alright. And then he won't need this here because this would work. The downside, and this is what I really hate, right? And this is just me, but anybody that says, oh, can you check my plot out? Please, can you not hammer everything down? Oh, just... I need a hammer. Right. Let's go to work. First off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, flip this. I'll be back in a minute. What we're going to go and do is we're going to fix this. Now... If you're ever going to make something like this, make sure you don't hammer everything down. Because hammering things down, I mean, is good, but when it comes to fiddling around with it all and you need, and you want to take it all apart and you get someone like me trying to take all your stuff apart, 
doesn't really help me much, does it? All of this is going to be removed. Actually, I will remove it now. Why do you have a filter here? It's all about making things as simple as humanly possible. Okay? Now, when it comes to making platforms and everything else to stand, it's normally best, if I'm going to be completely and brutally honest, to just make a platform from, like, a wooden floor or something. Now, wooden flooring acts really well instead of using these. Pallets suck sometimes. And in honesty, why do you want to use pallets? You know... And, I mean, I know we're, we're actually on, like, proper, like, almost bedrock. Well, or, or like, tier one. So, what I want to do is I want, first off, to question why that's there. You hammered down all of your pipes. Mm -hmm. Dear readers of this very special blog. Don't do it. Um, right. What we'll do is the intake is going to go on this... So the thing is, he had all this stuff in here before, but I'm, I'm not going to use it. <sighs> right, I've got another. First off, before we go any further. Right, okay, now I have a wooden floor. So, my next thing is I want to build the basic circuit for this, so I need... Now, we've got an auto repair station down here. All you have to do is fill up the spanner earlers, and you're all good. Bob's your uncle. Right, next, I want to basically move all of this so it just flows onto there. So, all of this piping does need to go. It's a little bit sort of convoluted, all this. And the reason why is because, basically, what you've done here is you've put loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of pipe in where you don't need loads and loads and loads and loads of pipe in. Now I get it, you're actually wanting at some point to actually come off this and sort of join it into this. I completely understand. You didn't need all that piping to go up the top though. What you what you should have done here is do what I'm just about to do and wire all this up into one. So what we're doing... <laughs> So what we've got here is we've got our fully filtered line, right? So it's going to come straight from the intake pipe. You can change all these whenever you like and put your own boosters in. That's completely fine. So we've got our own, but we've got our own line here that's basically going to be repaired. It's all good, and it makes easy access if you just want to do it manually as well. It's fine. Now, if you want this line to run into here, you should have just done this instead of having that extra line there. It didn't make much sense, and I'm not sure why, but it's just the way that I was looking at it. I was like. That, that, that shouldn't be there really. So what I wanna do well what I wanna what I wanna what I wanna wanna do is let me just even this up a little bit because I don't like it when it's all a bit screw with. Just me, you can have this however you like. Now what I wanna do is I wanna really 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 wanna do this. And then we bring in a corner. That's not a corner. Now I need conveyors. So we need a lefty to go there, and then we need the straight belts. Now, because you nailed all this down, I don't want to unnail it all because it's just more work that I don't really want to do. I know I should, you know, put the little bit of effort in there and all the other joys, but I don't really, honestly don't really want to do that so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna redo your entire conveyor belt system but facing the opposite direction now the reason why I'm doing the complete opposite direction is because now they don't have to loop now the best part about this and I would say the absolutely ultimate best part about this doing this the way I've, I've put it up is if you wanted to like if you wanted to dual fuel this so you had two rows of uh, drills. You could. You could have the second row of drills running down this side. You could have that split off and then we're all good here. Now, I know you want to move that over to there, but I'm not sure why you put a booster here as well. Now, this is a Cloutium line. 
so you're all running at only like 300 and something percent worth of pressure all these will be running quite well because what we've now done is we've wired our water straight into the conveyor belts that run around the back of here and then run around the back of here and then hit a booster here you're going to want to wait you're you're going to want a way of changing this instantly so what i need to do is bring another i need to bring my wooden floor out all good so the reason why i put a pallet here is because you apparently can't put a bit of floor in there so that's okay that's fine that's dandy now because of this i'm going to move it now the main reason why i'm going to move it is just because through easy ease of necessity more than anything now what you will see is you will see a decline in speed at some point and the reason why is because um, there's a glitch at the moment with tier 1. Now, as of recording this, so I don't know when it gets fixed, as of recording this video, that if you boost up a T1 drill with Cloutium pipes and intakes, it takes the form of a tier 2 drill, which means it drills faster, which it shouldn't be, but there you go. Now, when it comes to extending off this line, you just put a T-pipe in here and carry on and be all good. There we go. Right, let me just go and deal with upstairs quick. Okay, so because we have basically messed around with... Uh, the piping downstairs, which was needed, if I'm going to be brutally and utterly honest. Um, this will now basically, should work, should, and it's all good. Now, what we don't need is all this piping. Now, the reason why we don't need this piping is because we're running everything out of that sorter now. So we can actually get rid of all of this. What you also don't need is you don't need to put filters on this part of the line. If you're already filtering your water from the other end, you'll be... Oh my god, why'd you do this? Ah, this, 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 that, that. Oh, good. Fan. Ooh, ah, fantastic. So yeah, that's knackered. Right, okay, cool. So, so far, all of his water is now running his pipe system, which comes up this way. And it's all good. <sighs> Number one, these aren't really needed at the moment, but I will keep it on the line anyway. I'm not going to touch it. You don't need the filters here either, because we've already done that now. Okay, and you, why didn't you just use a, 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 a thingy pipe? Very strange. Okay, cool. So, as we're going up through this... Wow. <laughs> You're having your thing repaired by a person who suffers from OCD. <laughs> it's needed all right cool now when you go downstairs it looks better we're gonna patch i'm gonna patch that hole up now oh that's yep <laughs> let me just patch the hole now there is no way you can fall down the hole and you can park your truck on there as well it's all good right next i need that bloody hammer so obviously lighting would be something that would be good down here as well. Now you're probably going to sit and just go, what are you doing? Well, basically what I'm doing is I'm condensing down your entire build into one section. Now, I don't know if you, have you got stuff in here? No, you haven't got, no, we'll just get rid of the safe as well. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, you can buy a new one if you really want, but at the moment, not worth it. All right. So, a little bit confounded, but here we go. What I want this to do is I want it to come all the way up from down here. Now, obviously, you know, bring some torches down and get all this lit up and be proper. So, your water is going to be joining into this belt here, which is actually going to power everything. It's all good. Your filters are all in one place. You don't have to run around like a blue-ass fly and do all the stuff that you would be normally doing. Okay? Now, with all of this, it should all basically be filtered by these. All your water basically runs under your belts and into the back of the heart, uh, into the back of your drills, so you don't have to touch them anymore, and that's all good. Next part, you have got this little walkway that goes around the back, and it's all right, and then you can come up your stairs and be happy as Larry. Now, being that everything has to be filtered, so your one water supply, which goes from down there all the way up here and all the way along here, at one point we'll get to your harvester and this will keep keep the whole thing filtered as well now the downside is that this means i have to loop the water supply around the back of here as well the reason why is because the water still needs to be filtered to go down into the tier two section and that's what we're going to be working in next so when it comes to this pipe here 
I'm going to replace this with a T-pipe. Now the reason why I have a cork in the end of this one is because it can't go anywhere. So the actual harvest is going to be done and we're all right here. Now I just need to bend it round. In order to put boosting in it as well, so we need... Uh... And now what you can do from here is your water's going to come up here. It's going to get, it's going to start getting a little bit sluggish around this water point. From here you chuck your curious on the back and then it boosts this line as well. That's all good. We've got our centralizer at the top. Now we get to go to explore tier two. Oh yeah. So what we had down here is we have this belt, which is good enough. It's all good. I'm still not sure why you got the grinders, but it's okay. Now, obviously because of, well, reasons, I know what you're trying to do here and it's it's not too bad of an idea, but you want a way of being able to access your filters properly. So the first thing we need to do is we need to build a staircase that's going to get you down to here start without using like the side of these belts so we need to build down this side instead of this side the reason why is because you you're you're blocking yourself off by doing it this way around so if we delete all this off and then I'll build you a staircase this side So you got yourself a little staircase down, which is all good to let to tier two. Now, obviously you're looking at expanding all this out. So the downside to this is you're going to need a way of being able to like put your actual, like your, your shards into the top of here. So you don't have to keep jumping up and down and doing like messing around. So you need a little platform to go with this as well. So the best thing you can really do is to basically create a walkway, which would be this bit here. And this gives you a working floor. Now what you can do is next to your belts you could have a little runway that runs up the back of here. So the other way around this would be to literally just have a little raised area around the back. So what we could do is we could do something like that. So let me just put the floor down first. And there you go. So what we've got here now is your T2 section. All I've done is basically drop all this floor in and it's just easier to get around. So you only have to use the stairwell down and it goes all the way down to your tier two drills and it's all good. And basically because of this little thing around the back now, you're able to just build up and then you can change your shards whenever you need be. 
So that's purely up to you. Or you can just go into your um, tier one section that way by putting up a little set of stairs and everything's good. Right, now on to the final part. Now the final part is all about sorting and basically making sure that everything's working. Now I know some people are a bit like, oh well we don't see the point of doing that. So it's all good. Now you've got someone like me doing it for you. So what I'm going to do is this pipe here is going to split off and it's going to feed a conveyor belt that goes down this way. We're going to go up a floor as well so we can have our sorting plant drop down into the smelters and that's all good. And I'll finish off running the belts as well. But for now, I need this one and I actually need it to sit there so I can line up from here into there and all is good. Okay, just adding this bit in. On that little bit, on that bit where I'm just faffing around with the conveyor belt, yes, there is a T pipe underneath the vertical pipe with a cork in it. I now know, watching this back and going, mm, I'm a little bit of a moron. Basically, what I could have done is I could have spun that pipe and actually fed the sorting pipe from that line there. Watching this back now, and I am sitting there just going, oh, you fool. But it's okay, back to the video. Let's have, have fun with this one. Okay, now we get to see if this works. It's all good. It's a longer trip for the dirt to have, but it's all good. So, that's the tier one side working, as you can see on here as well. Oh, hold on. Let me just pop this up. So, as you can see, our uh, polisher, when a stone comes off the end, it comes on. There we go. Pulled straight in. It's all good. And with that, with that real convenient sort of like thing here. Right, now we've sped the water up. These, these belts now run a little bit faster. Getting the water up here is a pain in the arse sometimes, so you know, take that into consideration as well. But with this all sort of like mining, well, we've got one working. Right, okay, so I'm going to assume you're probably having the same trouble as a quite a lot of other people when it, get, when it comes to getting these working. So, when it comes to a tier two drill, you take your spade and you're going to want it pointing that way towards the belt obviously next to this right so you want to aim for the back of the actual you want to back you want to aim for the back of the block 
and then you want to put two loads of dirt down. Now, I've done this a couple of times and it never had a problem with it. So now what we want to do is we want to mount tier two drills. And there we go. So now we're producing four loads of tier two. Sometimes when you do mess around with your pipes, the T-pipes seem to stop working. I'm not really sure why, but it's all good. So we've got tier one producing from that side. Tier 2 for producing from that side and everything gets sorted into a central conveyor belt and you don't have to worry about messing around with stuff. It basically just means your entire process now is here. So this means that this little section here could be your new blacksmith area. You could have like a couple of wooden floors. Actually, you know what? We'll set, we'll set your floors up. Okay. So if you want to turn your drills on, Turn your drills on first, or turn the belts on first, and then turn your drills on. It just means if there is a problem on your line and you want to fix it, you've got that control, and that's all good. So, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, notification button below for all other updates. And I'll be back here with a brand new video, live stream, or whatever else I do. If you have any more ideas for like you want, you want your sort of like your plots messed around with, let me know in the comment section below. Or um, if you have any suggestions that this guy could take on and make into his own plot. Again, down in that comment section. It not just helps me out, but it helps out the community for giving them general ideas of what other people might look at as well. When it comes to uh, dealing with other people's work and giving people ideas of what they might want to try. So thank you very much for kicking by. I'll see you on another one. I'll say peace out. Have fun. Enjoy everything you guys do. A boom. A fist bump to you.